good morning guys welcome to today's video today we are traveling far and wide grandfather's birthday some of you guys if you've been following for a long time you've met him before or you've seen him before he's this little teeny tiny italian guy he lives in toronto how old is your grandfather sam 92 92 actually is he 93 this year i don't know i feel like he's older than that myself but anyway he's not gonna live much longer and so it's important for us to visit him on his birthday so that we can always have the memory of him and so that we can support him in the last leg of his journey because older than 92 okay so we're getting gas and I want to tell you guys something so a lot of you guys are saying storm would be so good at cross-country storm hates cross-country storm would be so good at blah 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 storm hates everything like uh, you guys think that storm would be good at cross-country because he did go okay on one cross-country course racing but she's done cross-country with him at camp and at other places no, and he likes cross-country he, he just goes slow to it yeah he he's he slow picks up his feet. yeah like he, he does pick up his feet more but he's slow like and so then it got me thinking like what like he really that's not his thing like he would be just as dead doing cross-country as he is doing hunters but then i started my regular please can, can I? Regular, I have to, okay so then I started thinking back, like, what does Storm, what gets Storm fired up? Like, what gets Storm going? And His I friends think, and no friends? I think he's racer. I think Storm races. I think, so you know, God, you guys know how... If a jockey can stay on a fucking Storm, then yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's the only problem. Racer. So you guys know how um, quarter horses are the fastest breed for the first quarter of a mile. They don't have a lot of stamina, but they can go fast for a short period of time. It's kind of like me. I'm kind of the same. Anyways, so I thought back to all the time Storm has been in his element, been on his choice to just go, and it's always been when he's racing another horse because he has that be competitive, he has that competitive spirit where he's like, I will get you. Like, he well, has I, that in him. Oh, and you guys weren't here, but it was at advanced camp and we were trotting and Storm was like fighting with me to get to the front. He was like, trying to bolt off with me to get to the front yeah and he was trying to bolt with me to go past yeah like i think that's his thing you guys have seen it um at camping when storm was in the field and tex was ahead of him and he was like oh no you aren't and he ended up he did end up bucking gabby off but that's the, one of the fastest times that's i've ever I, seen him go that's because i squeezed him yeah she squeezed him and she should have just left him and let him just race anyways there's that time and then um there's the time when we came home and he wanted supper and he raced across the field faster than i've ever seen a horse go in my entire life like so fast like a racing horse and then i posted a video the other day on instagram oh, and and the most weirdest part is that my horse can do lead changes perfectly you don't even know that he did a lead change but if you go on instagram and you can see he goes across the diagonal then does a blank lead change yeah and you can't even see it until you look at his feet yeah so and when i ask he tries to buck me off yeah so anyway the thing that gets storm fired up the thing that gets storm going is racing i i think it would be amazing to put him in a race one time like some kind of a race or at least we should do it again like maybe in the summer or some place sometime we should try racing him again but it is no, the thing i think he's a, a racer yeah with a lot of horses makes me nervous but yeah i think that's it you guys like i think he's a racer all right regeneration's here taking a picture Okay, hold on. We'll take one this way. Everybody look this way. Say cheese. Cheese. <laughs> so we came to visit his grandpa for his birthday because it's really, really important for Sam. Even though it was a long drive for like a 30 minute visit, 
Um, we Wait. have to rush home now because the girls have riding lessons. Um, mm -hmm. Sam being back at work is really messing with our schedule of driving in. So the girls are going to ride lesson ponies today. It's just easier. Um, and then Fiona's going to come out to our barn and we're going to ride at home in on Sunday. Uh, a play gym. You're too big. We are at McDonald's. Okay, let's go in. You're too big. You want to play, Gabby? You do want to play? No. All right. I don't have the case. All right. Hold on. I literally cannot believe you guys are in here. Sophie, you're 10 now. I don't know if 10-year-olds are allowed. I know. Go, go to the slide. <laughs> you got shocked or electrocuted? Follow, Ga follow Gabby. Are you like claustrophobic? No, it's not gonna break. You're claustrophobic. Yeah, I'm kind of claustrophobic myself. So we have not been out to eat at McDonald's for a long, long time, and they have comfy chairs now. Look, comfy chairs. Comfy chairs, that is Yeah, I have to loosen my belt though because now it's too tight. Mm. Oh yeah, I thought I was dying it for when I almost died. Oh yeah. All right, we're here at the barn, and it's getting colder as the day goes on. Anyway, the girls had to change into their pants. Hopefully we get, hopefully they're ready to go before Fiona gets here. We're like literally just made it. So because, because we had to leave and go to Toronto and then come back, there's no time for my lesson. They, there could only be two lessons. So I'm not going to get to ride this week, which sucks big time. I wonder if I could ride on Friday. Friday is camp. Imagine I like, imagine I went to camp. That'd be so much, so much fun. Like that'd be fun. <laughs> Gotta get your boots on. Did you bring a coat? No. Guess who you're riding? Either Lily or Coco. Lily. Yay. I get a retry on her. So, if you guys remember, she seemed kind of disappointed in her last ride with Lily, and it was because she was like not landing very well, worse than normal for her, and it was because she was wearing, she thinks it was because she was wearing this vest, and it was like altering her. She couldn't move as well with the vest on, so. Plus the vest keeps my back. Oh my gosh, straighter. you guys are so. slobs. What the heck happened? Gabby says it's called a road trip, but yeah, see all the wool back there? My kids are knitters now. Just an FYI, but crop tops do not belong at the barn. It's not a crop top really though, is it? Come on, let's go. Go get your riding boots on. Hurry up. She's like, there's the girl that rides me. Look at her looking at you, Sophie. Oh, she's coming. She's coming? Yeah. Come on. You know why though? See? This way I'm coming. You know what? I feel like she's coming now though because she thinks maybe she's gonna get supper time. Because she gets grain now. Better now. Go, go. 
Go, go, you're late. Did you get it good? Yeah, can you help me with that? No. Can you pick it up right There's now? a limit to a mother's love, Sophia, and it is not getting super muddy for you. Like, look at that. Look, I got gloves. Here, here's a glove. I already got it, but I can see. Here. Let me hold it up for you. Ugh. Yuck. That is what you call gross. <sighs> Fiona's here. You know what that means. She's going to come in and be like, are you ready? She came clean. Now she's dirty. You got to... Make sure you every single little bit. Yeah, every single little bit, especially in the what feet? What are the most important feet? Big feet. <laughs> All her feet are big. What's the most important feet that a horse has? What bears most of their weight? Um, Front feet. Told Polly I was picking up the feet. Okay, hurry up, we're late, let's go. No chatting. No. Ugh. Oh, disgusting. This is the problem with long hair. It's always in the way and you can never see. Yeah. That's why you should have it tap, put up. Uh oh, I hear the laugh. Yep, you know Fiona's here when you hear that laugh. Yeah, that's... Yeah, I'll go grab the saddle. Right, Lily, are you ready to ride? Gabby's ready to ride today. Look at... That's somebody else's mud. Gross, right? What do you guys think if I don't ride for the winter and start again in the spring when things get more warm? <laughs> because I'm not a lover of mud and cold and yeah, all that stuff. And I didn't ride last winter because I was broken and it was nice. Yeah, I'm thinking about it, you guys. It's not that I'm quitting. It's not that I don't want to ride. It's that what if I was a seasonal rider? Yeah, so I've noticed a massive difference in Polly and I haven't ridden her since the difference. I feel like, so she's started to lose weight, so then they added grain. And now she has energy. Fiona says that I have to canter her a couple of times before I can um, canter Denver. So, I think maybe it'll be easier for me now that she seems to really have energy. Alright, Gabby's up first because it is not raining outside and she's going to... She's gonna ride outside. So let's get moving and grooving. You ready to ride like the wind, Lily? Lily likes the outdoor arena better? Does Gabby like the outdoor arena better? A little bit better, as long as it's not dark. Don't forget to make sure to hit that subscribe button down below.